Welcome to part two of how to make an anthotype. As I explained in part one, an anthotype is a very primitive form of photography created by a fellow named Herschel, Sir Herschel or Lord Herschel, uh, who um, uh, figured out a way to take uh, plants like flowers, I think antho uh, is a Greek for flowers, or berries or other organic substances and uh, make them into a soup, add a little denatured alcohol and paint it on a piece of uh, art paper, like I, I've used watercolor paper, and then uh, put a uh, positive, what's called an interpositive on top of it after it's dried and then expose it to the sun over a period of a week or two and you'll get a, uh, a photographic image. Now, I um, want to show again the denatured alcohol that I mixed a cap full with a small amount of blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries that I got at the frozen department uh, at a grocery store, put it in a blender and blended it into a soup, and then I strained it through some cheesecloth into this glass, and uh, that was what I painted on the watercolor paper. It's a 120-pound Canson watercolor paper that is very inexpensive. And then used a clip frame. Well, I had a, I did uh, have to print a interpositive of my photograph on some transparency. And then I uh, play, dried the um, watercolor paper, placed it on top of the backing which is like a hard cardboard for the uh, clip frame, then place the watercolor paper down, then place the interpositive on top of it, and then the glass, and then I use the rubber bands at either end to clip it into place and hold it tight together like a sandwich. Now, uh, normally when you do alternative photography, you'll want to put your uh, negative inter-negative, in this case an inter-positive, face-to-face -face with your paper so that there's no glass space between so you get a, a perfect contact. In this case I don't think it's going to matter because what we're doing is just blocking out light from fading out part of the photograph. Uh, the reason why I didn't put it face-to-face -face was because I forgot to flip it horizontally and that would reverse the image. If, if I did it now, it would have reversed the image. So I just decided, well, let's just put it face up. It probably won't make a difference. Um, there is a way to make a very inexpensive um, internegative or interpositive using just typing paper and, and uh, printing out your photograph on it turning it upside down on a hot plate with a, a towel to protect the hot plate or the paper and then just rubbing the backside with beeswax. And that will make your uh, typing paper transparent or, or almost transparent. And there you've got a very inexpensive um, internegative uh, to use for these alternative processes. The revolution in alternative process photography is that you can create digital negatives of any size, which they couldn't do before. They were just limited to the size of the film that they used. Uh, so that's a great development. So now I'm going to take this out and develop it over a period of two or three weeks. So I'm heading out with it uh, to the uh, sunlight. And I'll have to set the uh, camera down for a second here. And as you see, uh, there it is facing the sunlight. Won't have to worry about the wind blowing it or anything, and uh, we'll get hopefully a lot of sunlight here in the next week or two, and we'll have a great image. Thanks again. Bye.